Hi, my name is Hillary Mulek. I'm a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas and welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. This week's topic, I'm going to be talking about how to photograph a reception in a time crunch. Now this is talking about photographing reception details. I have been shooting weddings for over 10 years. So for over a decade, I've been shooting weddings, shooting receptions, and there have definitely been times when I get five minutes to photograph an entire reception space. And that can be really overwhelming, but with these tips, your next next wedding if there is a time crunch when photographing reception details follow these steps and you'll be able to get all the details get the main stuff and your couple is going to be super happy with the results so my internal checklist when i am photographing reception details in a time crunch is six steps so step number one is going to be photographing the entire space put on a 35 millimeter or a 50 millimeter and photograph the entire reception space from maybe one or two different angles so start, my idea is to start big and then work your way down to the smaller details. So step number one, start with photographing the entire reception space from one or two angles. Step number two, I want you to go up to two tables and photograph a nice vertical of the entire table. So this is starting from the top of the arrangement or maybe the ceilings if there are some things hanging down from the ceilings like chandeliers or greenery and then make the bottom of the frame the bottom of a chair or a little bit of the floor, but I just want you to photograph two tables as a whole. And generally at receptions, they don't have every single table set up exactly the same. There might be some tables where there's a taller arrangement in the center, some tables where there's a shorter arrangement in the center, or there might be uh, round tables and then a few square tables. So I want you to pick two tables, and of course if you have more time, you could do more tables, but for the sake of a time crunch, pick two tables and just photograph the entire table as a whole. Step number three is photographing the tablescape. So we've already photographed the entire table as a whole, and I want you to get in closer to the tablescape. So the tablescape is maybe going to be a horizontal of just seeing everything on top of the table. There might be a centerpiece in the middle with a table number, a few place settings. So I just want you to get like a bigger picture of just the tablescape. If you're photographing a square table or a rectangle table, you can go to the side and just photograph down the table where you can see all the center pieces, all of the place settings lined up. So that is going to be the next shot on your checklist is photographing a couple tablescapes. Next thing on your checklist, so we've photographed the tablescape, now I want you to get in even closer and photograph the centerpiece. So this can be the centerpiece that is a little bit shorter, maybe go to a different table where there's a centerpiece a little bit taller. Some receptions, I'll see some centerpieces that are florals, some centerpieces that are candles. So make sure that you are capturing both of those centerpieces. Next on the checklist, so you've photographed the centerpiece. Now I want you to move to a different part of the table and photograph the entire place setting. So sometimes you can get the, an aerial shot of this from up above. You can do some side views of this, but basically I want you to photograph everything on one place setting. So this will be the plate, the napkin, if there's a menu there, silverware, glass, everything that is on one place setting. Now the very last thing that is on your checklist when you are photographing reception details in a time crunch, you've already gotten big, worked your way to table, worked your way to tablescape, worked your way to centerpiece, place setting. Now the very last thing is just getting the details. So this is gonna be maybe close up on the silverware, close up on the pattern that is on the plate, close up of the menu, close up of the drinking glass that they have, maybe some close ups of little candles or little favors that might be on the table. So just anything that is on the table that you want a small detail of. You can even go as far as getting details of the chairs that they have there, if they have something special on the chairs. Sometimes the bride and groom chair have a little sign on it so you can make sure you get that. So this last step in the checklist is just getting all the little details. You've gotten all the big stuff, all the main stuff. Now just go through and quickly photograph all the little details. And I love saving this for last because generally when you're photographing a reception in a time crunch, the staff is probably in a time crunch as well. So they might be going 
around filling water glasses and doing different things. And that just makes doing the big shot of the entire reception space that much harder if you wait to do that last, which is why I love doing the smaller details last because that way when you're getting close up on these things and the backgrounds are blurred, it doesn't necessarily matter that the catering staff is walking around or that people are walking around um, trying to get things set up for the reception. I hope that information was helpful for you and next time you have to photograph a reception in a time crunch or even if it's not in a time crunch, it's a great just natural checklist to have in your head of starting big and then slowly working your way in on the details and then by the time you get to all the little details, you know you have covered everything and your couple is going to be so excited with the reception shots that you were able to get of all of their details. Before I let you go, I do have a free guide. It's my pre-wedding questionnaire, so four months before the wedding, speaking of details, four months before the wedding, I send all my couples this questionnaire to gather all of the details that I need for their photography timeline and just things that I need to know in preparation for the wedding day. This is the exact questionnaire that I sent to all my couples that I'm offering for free as a download to you. And you can click the link down in the description to access that guide. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.